guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Wake Up Wednesday. So we are back and I have got something that, listen, okay, even when I got this, even when this came into my spirit, even when um, I was like, yeah, this is what I'm going to talk about this week, it shook me a little bit, okay? Oh, Lord, just grab a cup of tea, grab something because you know I'm about to trigger you, I'm about to go in, we're about to really delve in. You know when I start saying this already, you know that we're about to go in. So grab something, grab a drink or whatever and let's get straight into it. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're talking about accepting the call. Are you ready to accept the call? Now, something came to me and I was just like, you know what, God, you're doing too much. There was an occasion where I, I just remember, I must have heard something where I was just thinking to myself, I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, you guys know I always talk about the fact that, you know, there's only one, one of you, you are so unique, you're a unique individual person, you're a unique individual being. And let me tell you one thing, that is absolutely right. There is nothing, um, there is nobody on this planet that is like you. You are you, you are a unique being. You know, it is said that when, um, you know, the man does his thing, there's 200 million 200 million sperm cells, okay? And out of all of them that competed to get to that egg, you were the one. So 100%, you are a unique, unique, intricate human being. You were crafted in your mother's womb. There was a reason why you were put on this planet, otherwise you would not be here. There is a reason for you, 100%. But then I was just thinking to myself, I was like, yeah, there's only one of you and I always talk about it. And then I just heard something in my spirit that said, do you really think that there, there was only, or there is only, or there ever will be only one? one Steve Jobs, or one Oprah Winfrey, or one Nelson Mandela, or one of this person, or one of that person. Nah, there were probably thousands of them, hundreds and thousands of them, who all received the same call, but only one was willing to accept the call. We can't breathe. Someone ring the alarm. What the hell is even going on? What? When I heard this, I had to take a double take and I had to write it down. There could have potentially been thousands of Steve Jobs, Nelson Mandela's, Martin Luther King's, Oprah Winfrey, Richard, Richard Branson's, um, whoever it is that you have a thought in your mind that is that has been impactful in society, has, has changed culture, has made a difference, has done whatever it is, there could have been thousands, hundreds and thousands of them but guess what, only one of them accepted the call. And that is something that I wanna ask you about today. Are you ready to accept the call? Cause you know what I realized? Yes, you are a unique individual human being. In all of your uniqueness, you are so precious. But don't get it twisted. If you don't pick up that phone, if something drops in your spirit that God says, you know what, open up this business or do this thing or start this off or start this branch or start this school or whatever it is. If there's something that you know in the inside of you, something in your spirit moves and tells you to do something and if you decide not to do it, guess what? Babes, he will go and pick somebody else. There will be somebody else that will be chosen to do exactly what it is that you were meant to do but because you were unwilling to accept the call, it went straight past you. It had to bypass you. Why? Because you were too lazy. Why? Because you thought you couldn't do it. Why? Because you spent more time doubting yourself than just taking the first step. Why? Because you decided that you were going to listen to your own fears and your own anxieties rather than pushing through and allowing yourself to overcome those things. Why? Because you thought that you weren't good enough. Why? Because you thought you didn't have the education or the right education. Why? Because you didn't think you were smart enough, intelligent enough, wise enough. Why? Because you thought you didn't have the tools when the tools were there. All you had to do was go out and search for it. I guarantee you, the people that you deem the most successful, that you watch, that you look at and you think, oh my gosh, they are absolutely amazing. I guarantee you that they are not the most intelligent people on this planet, that they're the mo the, not the most uh, 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 wisest people on this planet, that they're not the people that have the highest IQ. Um, look at Richard Branson, for example. He might have had a good IQ, but he dropped out of uni. He, I don't even think he even went to uni. People like Lord Alan Sugar, he didn't even go to uni. He went to school and I think he even dropped out of school. Um, you know, Oprah Winfrey came from a poor family. She came from literally being abused, molested, all of these things. But guess what? She picked up the phone call. She picked up the call. She accepted the call. She did what was necessary. She didn't allow her situation and her circumstance to determine where she was going to go. She didn't allow the, the maybe the smallness of where she started or what she saw in that moment to stop her from saying, do you know what? I'm going to pick up this call and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to fight for what I deserve. I'm going to fight for what I know in my spirit has been dropped 
in me the thing that I know that I've been called to do there could have been hundreds and thousands of Steve Jobs out there hundreds and thousands of Oprah's hundreds and thousands of Richard Branson's with the exact same ideas implanted in them and they maybe just brushed it under the carpet or you pushed it to the side or you thought oh do you know what that's crazy no one would ever back it or no one would ever support it or where would I get the money from where would I get the funding who would be the person that I would go to where do I learn about this da, 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 da. because of so much doubt that you have put in your mind you are stopping yourself from being the person that you've always known that you could have been because you knew it in your heart, you knew it in your spirit, you knew it deep down in your belly. And then in 10, 20 years time, when Sandra over there is doing exactly what it is that you knew that you should have been doing, you get upset and you get jealous. That's why there's so many jealous people in this world. Because there's something in the inside of you that's telling you this could have been you. This should have been you. But guess what? You didn't want to hear the call, bubble. You didn't want to hear. You didn't want to pick up the phone call. When the phone call was ringing, bring, 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 you wanted to ignore it. You wanted to pretend that you couldn't hear it. You wanted to say, oh, I'm not old enough. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, I don't have the qualifications. Oh, I could do it. But nah, it's going to take up too much of my time. Nah, I'm in a full-time job. I'm committed to this career, so I can't possibly do that. You made up every excuse under the sun every excuse just so you could avoid picking up that call then you get mad when you see somebody else doing exactly what you should have been doing all of that shoulda woulda coulda needs to get out of here all of that needs to be dismissed go leave exit stage left we don't have time for any of that because guess what if you decide that you're not going to heed the call it's going to go whoop straight over you that's what scares me i don't know about you but it scares me even the thought that God could have put something in my heart and he could have chosen me to be the person to deliver that one thing, that one brand new invention that he put in my heart that he said, you know what, I'm giving this to you. But because I decided not to do anything with it, guess what? He looked at me and said, well, I gave you a chance, boo boo. I gave you a chance and you didn't want to run with it. I gave you a chance, you didn't want to pick up the call. I gave you a chance and you didn't want to move. You didn't want to take action. So guess what? I'm going to have to take that right back and I'm going to have to give it to somebody else because at the end of the day, this world needs that thing. This world needs that thing. This world needs to progress towards that thing. So what can I do? I gave you a chance. Don't let that be you. Don't be that person that turns around and sees somebody else doing exactly what God gave you. Ah, oh, it's so mad because it's like, can you imagine the frustration? Guys, I remember being in school one time and this is gonna sound so petty and so irrelevant, but believe me, it's directly connected to what I'm, I'm talking about today. I remember being in school and I came up with this thing where we had to design our own cereal. So you know when you do like, um, you know, I was in, was it in English class? We were in some lesson, I don't know if it was in English or some kind of technology class or whatever it is but essentially our thing was to kind of come up with our own brand of cereal and it was to come up with this brand new cereal what it would taste like what it would be like da, 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 da. so I came up with something called Wheat Flakes because I was like I can't even really remember I just remember being so young I, I must have been like maybe year two or something and in year two you're like what not even 10 you're like eight or something like that you're like is it seven eight i don't know anyway you're very very young but i remember being in year two and being like coming up with this invention i called it wheater flakes i drew out the box i drew out everything i remember please nobody come and tell me that i didn't okay because i remember doing it and then a few years later guys i watched um tv and i see on tv what do i see come up on tv wheater freaking flakes and it was exactly what i had imagined so from what i remember it was basically a combination of wheater bits and flakes but then with like a um, like a syrup kind of mix um so it, it allowed you to have like the crunchiness or i don't know anyway all i know guys is that wheater flakes was in my mind then a few years later i see wheater flakes on my tv and i said that was my invention but guess what nobody flipping cares no matter how much I scream and I shout and I say that was me I was meant to do that da -da 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 -da. nobody flipping cares because guess what when the idea and the vision came to me why didn't I do something about it yes I could have been eight years old but you hear about all these eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds who are on Instagram they're selling their own version of lemonade they're selling books they're writing books they're doing all of this stuff I interviewed a young woman and um, I interviewed a young girl by the name of Vanessa online she goes by inspiring Vanessa this girl at the time when I interviewed her I think she was 10 10 years of age was she 10 at the time 10 years of age and she's going out and standing on stages 
stages in front of hundreds of people being a motivational speaker there is no limit there is no age gap there's no specific time as and when it's supposed to happen if you know there's something on your heart no matter how young or old you are if you know that it has been given to you it's been given to you for a reason i posted something on instagram literally um, when was it maybe a week ago and i basically said that thing that is in the inside of you that thing that you know that you're passionate about or that makes you angry or that thing that frustrates you or that thing that just it just feels like every single day it rises up on the inside of you or that thing that is burning that that desire that is in the inside of you whatever it is that thing has been given to you for a reason it is not by accident nobody is ever given a gift or something that they're meant to do by accident but make sure you use it don't sleep on it use it and that was literally the last bit of the line I said don't sleep on it use it because guess what the more you sleep the more somebody else is gonna get up and look over at you and say oh, okay I see this thing as well I had the vision not too long ago do you know what they're sleeping let me go and pick it up and let me go and do my thing because they weren't taking care of their business they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing they're not allowing themselves to truly step in with faith and allowing themselves to allow that vision and whatever it is that's in the inside of them to manifest out into reality so guess what you might not be able to do it but but I'm gonna do it and I'm not gonna wait for you to stand up and give me permission to do it I'm gonna do it anyway and you see that I've done it you're then gonna be mad at something that you never even allowed to progress honey darling boo boo sherry sweetheart get up and do what you need to do we don't have time to waste too many people live on this planet they have excuses for everything you give them a solution they have another excuse you give them another solution they have another excuse they have so many reasons why and then they wonder why they fall into these dark holes or these depressive states yes some people fall into depressive states why not because necessarily they are um depressed which can be a chemical imbalance in the brain but sometimes it's because it's that it's that it's that thing that's in the inside of you that's been literally shouting at you screaming at you getting frustrated at the fact that it's not being put out into the world it's not being made manifest into reality it's time it is time to stop with the excuses to stop with the constantly having visions for ideas and apps and things that you're meant to be doing and then and I only said apps because there's a there's a an app that I literally have in mind that I've been sitting on for a little while so as I'm talking to you I'm talking to myself as well it is time no more excuses no more of the mumbo jumbo and all of this nonsense of oh but I'm too old or oh, I'm too young or I can't do this I can't do that listen if there are people out there that have paved the way from the Martin Luther Kings to the, the Rosa Parks, to the people that have done things, even in situations and circumstances that you would not have even believed, even when there was major hostility, they still managed to do it. How much more do you think you can do it? How much more? Turn your pain into purpose. Turn your pain into passion. Turn your pain into something more. Turn your pain into progress. There needs to be a shift. Stop lying on your excuses. Stop lying on your vision. Stop sleeping on the dreams and the aspirations that God has instilled in you because guess what? Somebody else would do it and you will only be mad at yourself for not acting accordingly. So guys, I really do hope that you took that in and that you allowed that to kind of sit and marinate for a little while, okay? We need to get to a point where we really do understand that yes we are so unique there's only one of us but in terms of the call hundreds and thousands of people could have gotten that exact same call but are you willing to be that one person that picks up or are you going to let somebody else pick up the call that you could have also received that idea that vision that brand that app that business that book that whatever it is that you were meant to start that program that mentorship scheme whatever it is it could have been you it could be you but you're allowing other people to pick up the call. It says in Matthew 22, 14, that many are called, but few are chosen. Listen, you're getting that phone call and it's coming. You know what it is. I don't personally know you, but you know what it is. You know it's been there for a very long time and the phone has been ringing for a while, even to the point where it's become so quiet that you can barely hear it. You, you, you can barely, barely hear it, but you know what it is. That call has been coming through. But will you go up and accept that call and become the chosen? Or you continue to sit there, procrastinating, lying to yourself, making up excuses, pretending that it doesn't exist, lying in frustration, getting angry and angry at yourself, sitting in your depressive state. Will you choose all of those things over the call? Or will you choose the call 
over all of those things. Anyway, guys, I do love you guys. I appreciate you guys so very, very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Subscribe is the most important word there. Subscribe and share. The comment section is always open, so feel free. Maybe there is something. Do you know what? We're gonna do it again. We did it with the push through. I'm gonna keep pushing through video and you guys were on it. You guys were on fire. Comment in the description box below. I'm gonna push through. So I'm giving you another task, okay? Again, in the comment section below, I want you to now, again, we're gonna, we're gonna say this and we're gonna affirm ourselves in this. We're gonna say, I am accepting the call. That's all you need to write. And if you are ready to pick up the call, and remember, once you pick up the call, that means responsibility. That does mean a lot of hard work. That does mean being uncomfortable. That does mean doing things that maybe you never thought that you could do. But guess what? It is so worth it because you're gonna allow the things that have been sitting on the inside of you for such a long time to come out into the surface. So if you are ready to pick up the call, you're ready to make things happen, you're ready to really accept the position and the responsibility that you know you've always had in the inside of you, just write it down in the description box below. I am accepting the call. It's time for, people are dying guys, like you know, I know I, I say it all the time and it sounds a bit morbid, but guys, it's reality. People are dying out in these streets because you won't accept the call. You won't move into position. You're waiting for the government to do it, but really and truly, it's you. You are meant to move. And if you don't move, people are gonna continue to die or people are gonna continue to be oppressed or people are gonna continue to sit in injustice or people are gonna continue to be hurt. People are gonna continue to be burnt out. People are gonna, whatever it is that's negative, people will continue to have that because you won't accept the call in your family, in your community, in the nations, wherever it is internationally, whatever it is that you've been called to, because you won't accept the call, people are gonna continue to suffer. I know it sounds dying, it sounds harsh, but listen, I did tell you that this is Wake Up Wednesday where we trigger people, we push people, and we stir the pot even where you don't want me to stir. It just is where it is. That's why you come here. But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I love you guys always, and I'll see you guys again next week for another Wake Up Wednesday. Stay beautiful. Thank you.